limpio de corazón, los ojos puros, el nombre de los árboles de la tierra que habito, su alta serenidad, su lenta sombra y su resina cristalina y cruz. Yo voy a la madera y de ella vengo, doblado en luz, quemado en arenales, con una sombra más entre los brazos, como quien se recuerda con el alma del aire. The environment and its problems have interested me from a very young age. I have always lived in contact with nature, which has forced part of my personality. I still remember my visits to Argentina's national parks and protected areas where my uncle, a forest ranger, and my dad, in agronomy, would take me to the rivers and mountains of the Yungas rainforest, where they explained to me details of the flora and fauna of each place visited, as well as its problems. In a world where terms such as climate change, biodiversity loss and pollution are not only known, but lived, it is important to develop solutions that, if implemented correctly, might mitigate these effects. El nombre de los árboles de la tierra que habita. But to trees, forests play a fundamental role on the survival of this planet. Forests regulate climatic and soil conditions, reducing climate change, and these products contribute to the world's economy and provide energy. At the same time, in an increasingly populated world, we need agriculture to meet the needs of millions of people and offer a large source of employment. As the world's population grows, agriculture is forced to grow into new territories, whereas the agricultural model implemented, called intensive farming, requires more land and materials, including agrochemicals. An incorrect use of this not only intoxicates food, but also contaminates both ground and water resources, including rivers and groundwater. In this situation, Forests are deforested and replaced by crop plots, causing biodiversity loss and pollution, among other problems. Here, we can witness a crop that implements an intensive form of production. As you can see, there are no trees but within a long distance. Generally, sustainable practices in this type of crops are minimum, and sometimes the resulting products are not safe for consumption. As you can imagine, lots of families, communities, even countries, depend on the success of these crops to make a decent living. Therefore, they will try to maximize the production at all costs. We used to believe that economic growth and environmental conservation were incompatible. However, it is possible to change this paradigm and reconcile society, environment, and the economy. How? In this image, we can see an ecosystem that has been slightly modified to introduce coffee trees among our native trees. We call this method agroforestry. What is agroforestry? According to the Food and Agricultural Organization of the UN, agroforestry is a dynamic, ecologically based, natural resource management that, through the integration of trees on farms and in the agricultural landscape, diversifies and sustains production for increased social, economic, and environmental benefits for land users at all levels. There are many benefits to agroforestry. Gradually, tree roots begin to absorb agrochemicals from the soil and fix nutrients, such as nitrogen. Temperature is better regulated because leaves absorb CO2 from the atmosphere and study in the ground. Tree Soil, once prone to salinization and fertilization, improves. Biodiversity recovers. The trees now harbor more flora and fauna, which provides a natural pesticide and a more appreciable landscape. However, such management requires knowledge, work, and effort. Among the different types of agricultural practices known, I want to show you an example of one carried out by my family in our private natural research since the year 2016. This protected area is located in the province of Jujuy, Argentina, within a biome locally known as Yungas, a cloudy rainforest that extends from Venezuela to North Argentina. Here, 
by cultivating tamarillo, also named tomato tree or chinto, inside a native forest, we preserve the biodiversity of an entire ecosystem. Chilto is a fruit originally from South America that not only has a pleasant taste and is rich in nutrients, but also it was cataloged as nutritive food because it's medicinally active. The Tamarillo Waco Forestry Project has about 1,300 plants and occupies a surface of 9,000 square meters. It is supported by the UN Development Program and Argentina's government. Inside the agroecologic research, environmental conditions like temperature, humidity, and fertility promote the successful growth of the trees and the forest containing it. The falling leaves prevent the soil from being degraded and create a natural fertilizer beneficial for life coexisting there. It is also friendly to animal species such as jaguars, cabbage monkeys, and bats and deer. Irrigation is done at program times and with the help of gravity, so we avoid water waste. When the fruits are ripe, no machinery is needed. The harvest is manually done and the products are exported. Of course, as any other productive system, there are pros and cons involved. This year, at the end of the harvest, an adult and young animal we seek to preserve tore down and broke several trees in the search for fruit. Yet we accept this damage because we are part of a system that both produces and protects wildlife. Still, the results were profitable. Agronomy and similar activities are vital for our survival. Therefore, they must become sustainable. Agroforestry is just one early example of sustainable development. There is still a lot we can do to help our environment.